Hi, I'm Chris Rivero. I'm the Vacation Bible School Director at the First Baptist Church of Polk City, and welcome to the Director's Session. Even though we can't meet face-to-face, -face, we hope all these videos will get you started on encouraging, being creative, equipping, and inspiring your team. First off, I'd like to talk about a few things that LifeWay has to offer this year. They have something called the Director's Club. You can go to lifeway.com slash VBS, and there's a tab that says Director's Club. Click on that if you haven't already. You fill in a few blanks, and uh, you register yourself. This gives you access to training videos, more clip art than what's in your guide or online, promotional and planning resources. Now this is not only for directors. Please feel free to give this information to your team members and your leaders as well so that they can have access to it. All they have to do is the same thing as you. Just go on, register, fill in a few blanks, click the link, and there you go. They have access to everything you have. Um, and it's got a lot of good stuff in there, so check that out. Another thing LifeWay has is they're offering a free ebook. It's called Four VBS Strategies for the Summer. Now, this book is designed to help you plan and conduct an exceptional VBS in these trying times. With the pandemic and everything going on, we're going to have to get creative. I'm praying that every director out there is still planning their vacation Bible school. It may be later, it may be have to be done a different way. <clears throat> but I'm hoping that you decide to continue to have it. I know I am. Uh, I've got some alternative dates, and the book is giving me some some good ideas to try. And you can find that at lifeway.com slash four ways. That's the number four, W-A-Y-S, lifeway.com slash four ways. All right, now let's get planning. First thing you're going to need is your administrative guide, okay? This has a CD-ROM in it and everything you need. This will be your greatest tool for Vacation Bible School. Now, if you don't have a CD-ROM player and computers, like some of them don't, down at the bottom of this first page, you just follow the directions. It has a code. It can be downloaded three times before you have to buy another book and get a new code, okay? Um, but everything that's in this book and on the CD-ROM will be digitally downloaded onto your computer. So that's a nice little tool to have. I usually download it just in case something happens to my book. I still have all of my information. All right, now there's seven steps to plan in Vacation Bible School. Step number one is prayer. If you have not already started praying for your Vacation Bible School, start now. Um, it's, there's, nothing happens outside of prayer. It is the most important thing, okay? Uh, there's a couple of ideas where on page 56 they have a prayer calendar in your book. Get that out to your congregation. Get them praying. It's a 30-day calendar. Once 30 days are passed, let them keep praying. Go all over again. Having as many people pray for your vacation Bible school can only help it. Okay. Another idea is our memory verse is Philippians 1.6. Maybe put the idea out there for your congregation, for your church members to pray at 1 o'clock and or at 6 o'clock, whichever they want to do. Again, you can't have too much prayer, okay? So, step number two is know your purpose, your theme, and your Bible content. Your purpose is reaching people of all ages with the gospel. Very important, okay? This is why VBS exists. Make sure every person that you have working is equipped to share their faith to share the gospel, okay? I like having the gospel, God's plan for me, these brochures, I like to have them all around in every classroom if possible. Um, it's a cute little resource. Children, there's pictures in it. I, I like books with pictures. But there's pictures in it and everything, and an adult can go through it with a child at any time during vacation Bible school. And then you can also send it home with them, okay? A little area to fill out and everything so it's an idea <clears throat> the other resource and when you go through all the stress of planning a vacation Bible school it's not an easy task to be a director it's really not um, but when you have those times and you wonder if it's worth it this is a great book to read it's worth it life we put it out last year and I've read it again it's got pictures and it's got statistics, it's got the history 
a vacation Bible school. Um, on those stressful days, sit down and read that. Mark mark places that you like that are expire, uh, you know, inspiring to you, and reread it because um, it's it's worth it. Every year, it's worth it. Okay. <clears throat> so the theme this year, as you can already guess, it's concrete and cranes. It's wrapped all around construction. Okay. And it's also about building our lives on Jesus. We live in a very unstable world. Just look what's going on today. This is why we're doing a virtual clinic because we have the stay home order. Can't have big mass gatherings. People are scared. People panic. What's up with the toilet paper? I don't know. Still haven't found that answer. Um, <clears throat> so the world can be very shaky. People have lost jobs. Please, please. Please pray for them, okay? Um, it's loud with distractions, and it's very dangerous. However, Jesus is our firm foundation, and that is what this Vacation Bible School theme is all about. When every part of our lives is built and focused on God and on Jesus and what he can do for us, those distractions fade away. And we can learn to you know, navigate through all the dangers through his word. He helps us remain grounded. At VBS this year, we ask God to speak through you and your team as you help children and families to either begin or continue their journey to build their lives with Jesus Christ. He is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow. He is never changing. All right, our motto is Jesus, our strong foundation. Now, at our, at our early bird, um, it was suggested to put movements with your motto so the children can understand and to remember it. <clears throat> and we came up with Jesus is our strong foundation. Okay, that's just the thought. You can make up your own. I like that one. <clears throat> it's very simple. And our verse, as I said before, is Philippians 1 6. Now, there's two versions in all of your Lifeway material. Pick one. And go with it. Tell all your leaders which one you're going to go for. Okay, you got King James and the one that Lifeway uses. I believe I believe it's Christian Holman or Holman Christian Standard. I'm sorry. Um, but Philippians 1 6 says, I am sure of this that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. That is the verse they're going to focus on all week long. Okay, now. Your Bible content is on page 7, and it goes, tells you every day, okay? Day 1 is Foundation of Love. This is the story of Jesus choosing Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Nobody liked him. However, when Jesus said, follow me, he dropped everything, and he followed Jesus. We learn that Jesus chooses to love us. We can't earn it. He gives his love freely, Okay? Day two is the foundation of forgiveness. This is the story of Paul's redemption. He went from persecuting Christians to leading lots and lots of people to Christ. Okay? We learn that Jesus loves us regardless of our sins that day. Day three is the foundation of work. This is the story of Jesus praying in the garden. He knew what he was about to endure. This is right before his crucifixion. He knew he was going to suffer experienced a lot of pain, but he still chose to go through with it. He chose to die for us because his light, his love is just that great for us, okay? Day four is the foundation of promise. This is the story of Jesus' resurrection and his promise. Our eternity changed the day he rose from the grave. He beat sin. He beat death. And we learn that Jesus will always love us. Day five is the foundation of life. This is the story of a wise and a foolish builder. Jesus tells this parable of a wise man who builds his house on a, on a rock. Okay? And <clears throat> when a storm comes, it's still standing because it's got a firm foundation. Okay? He had listened and acted upon Jesus' word. Well, the wise builder, on the other hand, went and said, I'm going to build my, my house on the sand. Well, the storm came through. It wiped it all out. He had nothing. Okay, so that day, we learned Jesus' love is the foundation for the rest of our lives. Okay, those are the, three, those are the five 
days, <laughs> the five different stories that they're going to learn. Step number three, we start planning. Hopefully most of you have already started planning. Make your own calendar. This will help you stay on track. On page 12 and 13 in your admin guide has an example of the different things. Everything does not apply to every church. Okay, so make your own. The next thing is set a budget. If you haven't already set a budget, if, you, if the budget hasn't been set for you, okay? Next thing is choose your format. There's a variety of formats on pages 16 through 23. Look through them, figure it out. Next thing is order your curriculum. Now, in the years past, Larry at the Lifeway store down in Brandon, when it was open, he did an incentive. When he, you ordered through him, he gave you free shipping. It would go to the association office, you would pick it up. The association would get a percentage back of your orders to go toward our budget, our VBS budget for the association. That's the only place that money goes, okay? Well, Lifeway is doing that as well this year, now that all the stores have closed. So, it's, it's an incentive program. So what you do is, once you order your curriculum through Lifeway, send Rebecca at the association office your receipt, your confirmation receipt. It should have your confirmation number, and the total of your order, okay? Don't send the one that has all the credit card information, or if it does, black it out. We don't want that information. We don't want any of your information. We just want your confirmation number and your order. By July 1st is the deadline, okay? And then we send all that up to Lifeway, and they will give us a percentage, just like Larry used to do for us at the Lifeway store. And all that money goes into our VBS budget, okay? And that helps us pay for training and things like that, okay? And all the materials we need to help you. So think about that. Try to get that to Rebecca. Oh, you can get that to Rebecca at Rebecca at SFBA.info. Um, SFBA.info, Rebecca. All right, next thing is check out our new, the, the new multi- age resources. They have it for preschool and children. Many of you do multiple ages. You don't split them up by grades. Now Lifeway has multiple age resources. So check those out. You get the leader books and they're quite interesting actually. <clears throat> uh, and the last thing for planning is will you need a student class? Will you need an adult class? Will you need a special needs class? Make sure if you need those Make sure you order the curriculum for it, okay? All right, step four, enlist and train your leaders. What roles need to be filled? How many leaders, how many workers do you need? Make a list. I'm a list person. If I don't have a list like this, then I lose myself, okay? The book has a few um, enlistment tips, and it's got several letters. So P is for pray. We've talked about prayer. Start praying. P is for planning. Set the dates, set the times. How many people do you need? Hopefully you've already got all that done. S is for sharing. Share your expectations um, with your team and explain the qualifications and goals that you want for VBS. I personally put out, I make a handbook, a VBS handbook, and give it to all of my volunteers. They know my expectations. They know when to be there, when to do what. If they can't be there, it's all in paper. Okay, so <clears throat> that's what I do for that. A is for ask. Personally ask people to, to work in Vacation Bible School. Don't assume they're going to do it because they did it last year. Okay, and I rarely put out a general, I need workers anymore because I've got a good strong team. And it's taken me several years to get that team, but occasionally I do need a new person because people come and go from your church. So what I do is I pray. I pray and ask God to give me a worker for this class. And I haven't been short a worker yet because I know God knows my needs, okay? So, and, and they're, they react more enthusiastic. They're like, oh yeah, she thought of me. So ask personally. T is for train. Equip them for success. There's some training examples on page 32 through 40, okay? This year, get creative, get on Zoom. Um, Find different ways to train your people. 
it's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, A's appreciate. If you do nothing else, appreciate your volunteers, okay? Um, there's some ideas here in the book. And I personally have a volunteer room during Vacation Bible School uh, where they can go and relax away from kids. I always have goodies, different goodies every night, and they're always excited to see what I bring. And it's just my appreciation to them, okay? <clears throat> so be creative. This is a trying time. We're going to have to think outside of the box, especially those of us who've been doing this for quite a few years. Um, just go with the flow. Don't stress out. Just get creative. All right, step five is to promote and publicize. Enlist the team to help. You can't do it all by yourself. Tried it, didn't work, okay? Page 44 in your book has some ideas. Don't forget to use social media. Right now, everybody's on social media, so it should be easy for you to remember these things. Step six is registration. Decide if you're gonna use paper, if you're gonna use an online resource, if you're gonna use Kid Event Pro. Um, kick off events, you might be able to still have one depending on how things go with this virus. Um, bus ministry, again, you might be able to use your bus ministry to do some pre-registration events and things like that. I usually use our Easter egg hunt and our Awana family night to get a lot of pre-registrations. Uh, we didn't, we're not having that this year, so I'm gonna have to get creative. I'm still working on that for, for my own vacation Bible school, okay? So think about how you're gonna register. Step seven, continue the connection. Now I will advise you to use a totally separate team who are not doing vacation Bible school. People who have a, have a, a joy and a heart for visitation and things like that. Because right after Vacation Bible School, you're going to need someone to contact these people who made decisions during Vacation Bible School. You know, there's, there's different ways to do it, but we're going to be tired. I mean, I, I'm, I'm usually ready for vacation by the end of the week. And once we get everything cleaned up, sorted out, everything put back to normal, I'm ready to just do nothing for, for another week. So get a team who has a heart for visitation. Give them names and go. Um, the book has some ideas on pages 50 through 52, okay? So, like I said, go through your book. <clears throat> Hopefully this video has helped get you started on your own VBS journey. I'm praying every day for all the churches in our association that they're gonna continue because VBS is just such a great opportunity to reach so many people for Christ, okay? Um, if you have any questions, if you need to contact me um, or any of my team members, contact Rebecca at the association office. Even though they're working from their house, they're answering phones, answering emails. They will forward anything to me, okay? So Rebecca at sfba.info, okay? So make sure you, you contact them to get information to me. And... To close us out, I'd like to say a prayer. Lord, thank you. Thank you for everybody who's watching these videos, Lord. Thank you. I pray for their VBSs. I pray for their churches. I, I pray for everybody during this um, time of need. Uh, people are scared. People are panicking. I pray that you calm them. Just lay your comfort upon them, Lord. I pray that all of our VBSs are a huge success and that we see so many more people coming to you, Lord, um, just loving you and glorifying in you, Lord. And I pray you help all these VBS teams out there and be with them and guide them, Lord, in these times. Um, I pray that we have a joyous time getting back together when we've, we've been all separated for so long now. Um, Lord, be with us. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful Vacation Bible School.